The French Riviera, the Azure Coast, or Côte d'Azur as it's known in French. Whatever you prefer to call this sparkling region, it's been a summer destination for the most posh of society since the 1800s. Even today, it's a favorite of British royalty, Russian oligarchs, and regular people with refined tastes. Of all the locations on the French Riviera, Nice is the spot with something to suit every budget. There's gorgeous boutique hotels, fine dining restaurants and simple bistros, tasty street food, bustling markets, free public beaches, tons of history, architecture, and even a variety of water sports for the more active tourist. So if you're planning on a trip to Nice, France, or curious to see if it's the spot for your next vacation, keep watching for our top picks in this perfect all-season destination. Castle Hill If you're looking for the most popular thing to do in Nice, it's got to be climbing Castle Hill. While there's no castle there anymore, it was destroyed in 1706, the hill is the highest spot in town, and making the trek up there is well worth it. There are ancient defensive walls and a cathedral to admire, landscaped grounds with an incredible artificial waterfall called Cascade Dijon, and amazing views of Nice from the observation deck. And every day at midday, administrators fire a cannon from the top. If you don't feel like walking up or aren't able to, there's an old-fashioned elevator built into the rock that will take you. Best of all, entrance to Castle Hill is completely free. St. Nicholas Russian Orthodox Cathedral In the 1800s, Nice was a favorite winter destination for members of Russian nobility. They were desperate to escape the bleak winters of their homeland for the always sunny climates of the French Riviera. They stayed for months at a time and, needing somewhere to worship, they built the St. Nicholas Russian Orthodox Cathedral. Given its distinctive Russian architectural style, it's definitely one of the most unusual buildings in all of Nice. It was completed in 1912 and served the growing Russian community, who still live in the area today. Step inside between 9 a.m. and 6 p.m. to admire ornate carvings, gold gilding, and stunning green towers. Just remember to put your camera away because you're not allowed to take photos. Are you looking for more deep dives into what to see and do at the most romantic vacation spots worldwide? Then be sure to give this video a like and share it, and subscribe to our channel for more just like it. Old Nice There's new Nice and then there's old Nice. Can you tell which we prefer? Old Nice lies below Castle Hill and incorporates the oldest parts of this ancient holiday city, and is full to the brim with vintage charm. There are beautiful Baroque churches, city squares, narrow cobbled lanes, pastel-colored buildings, street-side bistros, and live music on almost every corner. If you're making a not-to-be-missed itinerary, be sure to add the Cathedral saint Reparat, Lascaris Palace, Galerie de Pochette, and the Opera of Nice. If you're keen to time travel back to medieval France, this is the place to do it. Place Massena The central focus of Nice is a historic square called Place Massena, which serves to divide the old part of Nice from the new. It takes its name from famous 19th century French military commander André Massena, first Duke of Rivoli and first Prince of Essling. The huge square boasts a signature checkerboard pavement intersected by a recently restored tramway. Before the tramway was rebuilt, the square was open to cars. Today, it's a pedestrian-only area. It's lined with trendy restaurants and bars, serves as a central meeting point for almost all city tours and shopping trips, and in the summer, a number of festivals are held here. Plage Beau Rivage there are so many beaches around Nice, it can be hard to choose which one to go to, especially if you're not in town for long. Some beaches are private, while others are public, and most of the time, the private ones are better kept and more beautiful. Plage Beau Rivage is no exception. It's the largest beach on the French Riviera, and conveniently located near the old part of town. The sandy shores are lined with upscale restaurants, all with unmatched sea views. Of course, you can also spend your time on the sand itself, which is set up with colorful umbrellas and sun loungers. La Reserve If you're after a beach with a bit more of a rustic feel, head to La Reserve. This little bay is located east of Nice, near the Port District. It's very secluded, but because it's small, it fills up with sun and water lovers fast. So get there early to secure your spot. This rocky beach, in fact there's pretty much no sand at all, is perfect for snorkeling and even sports some old-fashioned diving boards for those interested in getting a bit more active in the crystal clear waters. Expect to be surrounded by locals more than tourists, and in our books, that's a good thing. Coco Beach Coco Beach is another secluded swimming and sunbathing spot. It sits between the port area and La Reserve Beach. It's one of the most secluded bays in the region, so head here if you want to leave the hustle and bustle of the city behind. 
This spot has none of the private beach restaurants or sun loungers and parasols that other more popular locales have, so be prepared with towels, water, and picnic food. Come here to escape the tourists, hang with the locals, and focus on swimming and the unimpeded views out over the azure waters of the Mediterranean. Day Trip to Menton Love Italy but don't have time to visit while you're in the French Riviera? Thankfully, the Italian-influenced town of Menton is a short day trip from Nice. This alluring spot is right next to the border of Italy and has a sunny climate to match. It's renowned for growing lemons with a perfect mix of sweet and sour. There's even a lemon festival here at the end of February. Once you're in this so-called Pearl of France, wander the streets, sample the authentic Italian food and gelato, or take a 15-minute train ride across the border to the Italian town of Ventimiglia. There's an incredible weekly farmer's market there that's worth a look in. Villefranche-sur-Mer if you're over the rocks of Nice beaches, fret not. You can hop on a bus for 20 minutes and you'll arrive in Villefranche-sur-Mer. This quaint seaside town is famous for its sandy bay, which makes a nice change from Nice's pebble-filled beaches. Get there early to secure a spot and then spend the day swimming, watching the yachts, and patronizing the restaurants and ice cream stands that dot the shoreline. If you have time, pay a visit to the town itself. It was built in the Middle Ages and has retained its homely feel despite being sandwiched between the luxury locales of Nice and Monaco. If you visit Wednesdays or Saturdays, visit the local produce market held in the center of town. The Old Port of Nice The Old Port, also called Port Limpia, was constructed in 1748 by Charles Emmanuel III, King of Sardinia. The port consists of a long breakwater, walkable by foot, that culminates in a working lighthouse. It's a working port with 10 keys. You can catch ferries to Corsica and Sardinia and watch the cruise ships and private luxury yachts dock. There are also various restaurants and cafes and markets selling local seafood and produce. Once you've strolled around the port itself, head to Napoleon Bonaparte Street and visit the tenement house La Residence de Bonaparte, where he once resided. Corsalea Markets of all the markets in Nice, few beat the Cours Salea. This market is still full of the charm and yesteryear. And with flower, antique, and food stalls, there's something to look at, or maybe even buy, for everyone in your travel party. Instead of taking home tacky souvenir fridge magnets, why not purchase a vintage French cooking implement or ceramic vase instead? Promenade de Anglais if you want to channel the ladies and gentlemen of the 19th and 20th centuries, there's no better way than a late afternoon stroll along the Promenade des Anglais. This seven-kilometer-long pathway has seen the footfall of Europe's aristocrats for centuries. So dress up in your finery, join arms with your beau or bestie, and head out for a leisurely walk. Along the way, you can stop at the beach, visit art museums, admire the old-school hotels, or just grab an ice cream from a roadside stall. Now it's time to hear from you. If you travel to Nice, would you spend your time laying in the sun and sandy shores? Or are you more likely to traipse around the old buildings, visit the markets, or get out on the water? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Viewcation for more. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.